I'm committed to working with Israel and the Palestinians to reach an agreement. But any agreement cannot be imposed by the United States or by any other nation. The Palestinians and Israelis must work together to reach an agreement that allows both peoples to live, worship, and thrive and prosper in peace. President Trump affirming his commitment to reaching a lasting peace agreement between the Israelis and Palestinians, this during a joint statement with Palestinian President Abbas, while also pressing the Palestinian leader to combat and condemn terrorism in the Middle East. Joining me now is Ken Abramovich and Arash uh, Aramesh. Uh, Arash, let me start with you. Um, and yet a lot of people, uh, listen, presidents have sought to try to find a way to find a solution or at least uh, aid in a solution for the last 40 years, maybe longer here in America. Do you feel it's even possible at this particular point, considering some of the, 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 the starting points uh, that we had coming into this meeting? This is an incredibly difficult task to undertake. The peace process has been pretty much moot since 2014. No, no uh, real progress has been made. And since Jimmy Carter, every American president has tried to advance the cause of peace. We have tried very hard. The Israelis have tried very hard. And at times we've had partners on the Palestinian side, and at times we haven't. Problem is this. Aside from what's going on regionally, I have very little faith in this president, President Trump, to actually deliver on his promises. At one point, he said he's going to move the, ca uh, move the uh, capital or, you know, or U.S. embassy, I'm sorry, to Jerusalem. Seems like he's backtracked on that. The president has made many, many grand promises and grand sort of uh, that, that, have, that have turned out to be empty. And it's not something new. It seems to be a consistent So you want President Trump to take a hard line form, against, it, the seems, against the Palestinians. That's what you're be, saying. Charles, Charles, I'm asking you a question. To be a consistent, I'm answering your question. Don't cut me off and let me finish I, my listen, answer. Kid, listen, my, listen, 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 listen. You're not going to come on the show and filibuster. There's another guest here. I'm simply saying, do you want President well, Trump don't to take a Don't invite me to your show if you're terrified of my answers. If you're terrified There's of getting nothing an you answer, could do or say I know you're that not a, ever terrified I know you're not a foreign nothing policy at all. expert. Nothing, nothing. I know you're not a foreign policy expert. If you were driving expert, a, so a hear semiconductor it. truck I know you're, at a thousand miles an hour, you couldn't find me. I know you're not. Calm down. Please, no, no, you calm down. I know you're not a foreign policy expert. So at least hear it from someone who knows a thing. Or two. Did, uh, President Trump is negotiating, at least he's in the middle of a negotiation here. Now, Abbas is saying, hey, we want a, we want a Palestinian state. We want East Jerusalem to be the capital of that state. For so many people, for a lot of people, that's a non-starter. Sure, everything uh, President uh, Mahmoud Abbas says is a non-starter. <laughs> <laughs> so he wants Israel to go back to the 67 lines. He wants uh, uh, Eastern Jerusalem, and he doesn't accept Israel's right to exist as a Jewish state. So, in other words, he wants to flood the country with refugees. So, uh, the whole process is a non-starter. Now, uh, today, uh, also, Hamas uh, made some announcements, a new policy platform. Uh, apparently, they said they've taken out some of the anti-Semitic language and that they've moved closer to, uh, to accepting the creation of a Palestinian state, a two-state solution. Does that help in the process at all? No, it's also a non-starter. Uh, first, they're saying whatever they're saying in English. The trick is, what are they saying in Arabic? And, and Hamas is dedicated to Israel's destruction and replacement with a Palestinian state. And Hamas is part of the Muslim right. Brotherhood. I want to then ask you one quick word because we're running a little late here. Um, is it possible? I, I mean, you know, we're trying. Uh, everyone wants this to work. Is it possible to reach a solution? Charles, you having fun running a sham interview? This is, so if you want to just ask questions ahead, from someone Ken. you like, we, why do you invite another guest? Have Peace. We actually have a solution. It's called I the think status the mic is quo. Off. You like what is? You like what's the, happening right now? Well, no. The status quo is the best that can be accomplished. And when someone comes up with a better idea with, than the status quo, I'm happy to listen. But I've never heard anyone come up with a better idea than the status quo. All right, Arash, uh, real quick, uh, give me your final thoughts on this, please. I have very little confidence in Trump. He's made many promises. He hasn't delivered on, and he has not delivered on any of them. Just look at the list of what he has said. NATO bad, now NATO good. Israel, we're going to move the capital to Jerusalem. Now he's backtracked on that. There, there have been many promises. He is a juvenile when it comes down to foreign policy. A lot of adults okay. have not entered the, entered the room like McMaster. I hope he listens to McMaster. I hope he listens to Mattis. I have very little Trump uh, support, uh, faith in Trump. And guess what, Charles? 
I have very little faith in Stephen Bannon, and he's a dangerous man. You're talking about anti-Semitism? Get Stephen Bannon out of the White House. All right, we're going to leave it there. Uh, Ken's shaking his head. He doesn't agree with you, and I think a lot of our viewers probably would not agree with you as well.